How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. So, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing there, Darren? Good, man. The support is crazy. It's got the crowd, it's amazing. eh? There's people that have come from all over us there. Get a better shot from this angle, brother. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, they're all over there. They're coming right now. Yeah, they're heading gain uh, is here. Right on. So we just need to zoom that baby out. Ooh, perfect. There's the man of the hour, so. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to support the cause, which is 462.2. You got a lot of support behind you, Darren. What you're doing. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate it. We will win this battle. Bring this marijuana issue to arrest. Finally, all found in the science of cannabinoid science. There's the answer. All the arguments to fight the law against these unjust laws that are being practiced. Oh, you still come into harassment? Sure? Hard to see in glass. You get zebra effect. <laughs> 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 so this was a grievous violation of his charter rights and that uh, the, the ability to be able to talk about cannabis and to discuss it politically or, or socially or spiritually or medically or all those things should be allowed. So the, so the ban against literature was, was taken out. Although, uh, even that still gets enforced weirdly sometimes. In Timmins, Ontario, this is quite a while ago, but Mark Emery came out to Timmins, Ontario because the police there started going around to stores and saying, this cannabis culture magazine is a crime comic. And Canada has these bizarre laws on the books from like the cr comic prohibition era when comic books were considered to be the things that were destroying our youth. And they, uh, they banned all these comics. And because it had pictures of people breaking the law by growing marijuana plants, they said it was a crime comic. So Mark actually flew out and gave away Cannabis Culture magazine in front of the police station and dared the cops to charge him. And they backed down and eventually apologized. And uh, so it shows what you can do when you stand up for this stuff. But no one's ever been willing to stand up against the bong law properly enough to really get it overturned. And uh, some folks up in uh, Prince Rupert in BC got charged couple of years ago, they didn't actually get charged. They just came and took all their stuff, which is their usual method of doing it. Right. Saves them all the hassle. It it's makes it difficult easy. for you to go to court because they know it's a weak law. So they don't really want to bother charging you. They just take all your stuff. For a lot of stores, one raid puts you out of business. And, uh, and so in Prince Rupert, I went up there and actually there I made a trophy to give to the police for the most wasted time award uh, for the <laughs> Prince Rupert RCMP. I wasn't able to bring a trophy with me on this, but we'll make the same point here. Uh, but, uh, but that guy ended up backing down and shutting down. But I think here, uh, we've got a, a fellow Darren here who's going to stay open, who wants to fight this law. We've got a community that is rallying around him. And I think we can make history. Absolutely. No, I mean, it takes... It's, it's no fun getting raided by the police and having them come and take your stuff and take you away. It's a very traumatizing experience, something nobody should have to go through. And it takes a certain amount of character to want to stay open and fight that and keep coming back but that's what we need and we've really chased these laws out of most of Canada right I mean these kind of raids thankfully are pretty rare they do happen once or twice a year they went after some stores in Winnipeg uh, about a year and a half ago I think uh, I heard a store in uh, Banff got raided and stuff so it does happen sometimes but by and large we, we've chased this law out of the out of the legal arena the police don't bother but when they do it's actually an opportunity for us right hey, it's a Dana, price it, was, opportunity. it was posted on your on, on some of the advertising you postings you were doing where it was suggesting that the the movement whether it's culture canada or whoever someone it didn't elaborate on it who was going to 
financially support the lawyers for it to challenge it. To well, we're going to work Can together on that. On you know, that I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to pledge. And I would be interested and, as you know, Kirk Lake's medical money into it. And this will benefit every store in Canada. Yeah, I would right? like this will take this fear. From have all you them. looked at the very arguments that I sent to you personally yeah. on, in relation yeah, that, to and legal? And we'll need, I'm curious to know what your yeah, position is on as the movement but, as a whole. What does sensible BC have to say in regard to that? Well, we can talk about that more. I'd like to know that. What I will say is that when this law was written, it actually makes an exemption for medical devices. And when it was written in the 80s, people didn't think of a water pipe as a medical device. But we know these are now, especially with the, with the you know, hundreds of thousands of Canadians that are acknowledged to be using marijuana medically. And even if you're not using it with a doctor's recommendation, certainly... There's one right there. But even if you're not using it with that, certainly these are harm reduction devices that make marijuana civil disobedience and stuff. <laughs> but let's also just be cautious and be aware. If you're going to be smoking pot to it in the middle of the group, let's remember that although we have some conflicts with the police, they're not our enemies in this case. Don't be harassing the cops or blowing smoke in their yeah. face or being aggressive. Peaceful demonstration. Peaceful, friendly demonstration. Yeah. And ultimately, exactly. although we'll not every cop is our friend, the police are the same as victimized by these laws as everybody else. Sorry. It I'm causes sorry. the police a lot of the problems to have to enforce this stuff. We want to support those good cops, of which there are many, who want to see these laws. Sounds rid politically of well. correct anyway. So let's just remember that while we're, while we're doing our march. But uh, yeah, yeah, so let's. Is there anything else that needs to be good to hand out? Or? Uh, Don't agree, but sounds. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go, we'll go to the police station, we'll say some few words there, and do some stuff, and, uh, and then we'll come back here, and then we'll we got have a chance little celebration in the... Free the bongs. Free the bongs. We'll join in if you know a chant. Oh, I right know one. Roll one, smoke one. When we live like <laughs> this, we're supposed to party. Roll one, smoke one. Because we're all here. Roll one, smoke one. Roll one, smoke one. Roll one, smoke one. Roll one, smoke one. Go 420. Legalize weed. Dude, the year, the compassionate year. The, com the year of the compassionate year. So where are we we're actually going vote. down this way here? Or we're going, going down there? So I mean, we're, you know, we can stick to the sidewalk mostly. If we take over one half of the street, that's okay. We don't need to take over the whole street, I don't think. There's not even any traffic or anybody to block off. But you know, <laughs> no, we're not, like, time day. Yeah, and our goal isn't to like people driving by. We're not mad at them and trying to make their day miserable, right? We're trying to be visible to make a point, but uh, we're not necessarily trying to shut down. Kirkland Lake for the day. Yeah. Anything, a lot of right? people are so just state our message. Too, too bad yeah, we didn't have the signs and all that. But so. Oh, there's one. It says, home to support rural patients. Good one, good one. Get that Oh, I, Daryl should have sticks for you. Daryl might have a stick for you for that. You might want to check. We're going to go down here and then, yeah, yeah, we'll see on the sidewalk, I think, yeah. Okay, that would work out great, then uh, we'll have someone further up ahead, and then that way, just, so no one, we just want to make sure that, yeah, we're all good, yeah, it's all yeah, going to exactly. be good. Yeah, exactly. All right. Awesome.